Hello everyone. Today I will show you a searching algorithm known as breadth first search. So let's begin. What is breadth first search? It is basically a searching algorithm where you simply use the whole breadth of your search space. Or in this case, string. Okay. First you will search in this one. After that you will search over here. After that here followed by this, this, this. Okay. So, for this, what we use is a queue. So what is a queue? It's simply like a serial. Anything we want to put in the queue, we enqueue them. Suppose this is one, two, Anything that we want to take out from the queue, we dequeue them and we will see that it follows a first in, first out rule, FIFA. So we dequeue them, one, two, three, okay. Now let me just orient you with the pseudocode. Over here, we're just calling the breadth first search procedure. Okay, here G denotes this graph or tree, the root denotes the starting point. Over here, it's this one. Okay, let there be Q, label the root as discovered, then enqueue the root while the, while the Q is not empty, do uh, DQ, if, if that's the goal node, then return that value. If not, then for all edges from V to W. Okay, what does V to W mean? V to W simply means all the connected nodes from V to W. Okay. From V to W, if W is not labeled, label them. W dot parent is V, which means you will just establish a connection that from W, uh, from V, W has come. Okay. And then you will enqueue W. And after that you will just follow these loops. And when you are done, you will simply break out of them. Okay, let's show you an example. Suppose we have a starting node, A. B. S. C. D E F G H Suppose we have a structure like this and A is my root node. Okay, let's try to follow the BFS algorithm for this case and keeping A as my root. Okay, let's draw the Q, a long one. Okay. So let's label the root node as discovered and NQ. First, let's discover it. 
and then nq. While the q is not empty, it's not empty, let's get in this loop, dq, and put the value in v. So let's denote a v variable over here. Okay. So dq, dq from here, anyhow you want to dq, dq and put the value over here. Okay. Is, is A the goal node? No. Then for all edges from A to its neighbors or adjacent nodes, we'll have to discover them. If they are not discovered, we will discover them and we will uh, enqueue them. Okay. Let's discover this. Enqueue. We're discovering alphabetically, okay? And then discover. And here. Okay, we're done. Now we will go up again. Now we will DQ. So if we DQ, let's DQ and update the value of V. Okay, now let's again uh, try all this. Does, does this have an undiscovered adjacent? Uh, or neighbor. No. So it will just skip all this and again come over here. So dq, dqs, and let's write s over here. Okay. Does s have undis uh, undiscovered neighbors? Yes. Okay. So what we will do? We will do all these. Discover, nq, Discover and Q. Okay. Now, again back to this one. Let's DQ. See. Okay. Now let's observe for C. And uh, we will just wait for H. For C, we have three neighbors which are undiscovered. So, we will discover them, D, E, F. Now, let's move on over here. H. You're supposed to DQ first and then write here. Okay, either way. For H, the only unlabeled or undiscovered node is G. So let's discover and then write it over here and queue them. Okay. Then we will again move to line number six and see what's on the top of my queue. Let's enqueue that. So D. And then does D have any other unlabeled, undiscovered nodes? No. So again, it will skip all these and come over here. DQ. Does E have any undiscovered nodes, neighbors? No. DQ. Does F have any undiscovered neighbors? No. DQ. Now, if we consider G to be our goal node, here we have reached G by traversing all other nodes. Okay. So, if G is my goal node, this condition will be true and the value will be returned as G. So, return G. And, uh, and after returning G, simply uh, my procedure will stop and my stack has also been empty. So either ways you have reached a conclusion. Okay. So uh, that's all uh, about BFS. Uh, thank you.